Okay, so the principle of playfulness. Now, the reason I wanted to share uh, this one with you guys is because this is about you developing skill. It's about you being able to defend yourself with A, power, B, speed, C, coordination, D, reflex, with all the components that come together to make you a better fighter. But also, it's about you developing yourself on a uh, mental, emotional, and spiritual level as well. So, the reason why playfulness is such a great concept to bring to your actual training is because it keeps you in a condition where you're willing to try things and willing to learn and willing to grow. Now, actually, in uh, I'll get this confirmed now. I've heard this before, but we've got a you know, Chinese speaker here. You're from mainland or are you from Hong Kong? Oh, I'm from Hong Kong. Dad's from Hong Kong? Mom's from Point, mainland? Yeah, my mum's from Taiwan. Taiwan, okay. Yeah. Anyway, the, the point is, is that um, when I was in Hong Kong, people would say, you know, do you play Kung Fu? Like when, apparently, I could Kung Fu. Go, yeah, like do you play that, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, so the, the, the question was yeah. asked, do you play Kung Fu? They didn't say, did you do Kung Fu or do you work Kung Fu? They asked that, right? That's right. So it's common, right? Yeah. One yeah. moment. Chan. Yeah, so like, do you play Kung Fu? So even the language uh, in, in Hong Kong was asking if you play it. Now, I think there's a lot to that in the sense that when you come and do something in a playful manner, you learn a lot faster. And then having done more research on this concept, um, I realized um, through both my own experience uh, in teaching, sorry, my own training and also the teaching experience, but also uh, in study that playfulness makes your brain more elastic or plastic. Mm -hmm. So when you approach things from a playful perspective, like think about little kids, right? How quickly they learn everything because they, they mostly do things in a playful way, right? So by approaching your training in a playful way, you'll you'll learn in a faster, more efficient way and download the skills rather than being really serious and focused with it. I'll give you an example. Um, in, in Hong Kong, when, when I first moved there, I think it was in the first, second year, people getting really serious about their training. Like, you go in there and they look super serious and they're focused and not talking at all and, you know, and really, you know, I want to get powerful, right? So, and in that kind of serious focus, people were literally starting to go backwards in their skill. Um, and I think that's because, I'm 100% sure it's because of the approach. Because it wasn't approached in a, in a way for learning to flower, to blossom. It was too serious. So I suggest to you to, to be, be, have fun. Be playful with this, you know, enjoy it. Yeah, there's, um, yeah, there's also another example. Um, there's another Australian guy his names, he was a, he's a world champion jiu-jitsu guy. I uh, forgot his name, but anyway, he created a course called Task, Task-Based Games. And I uh, looked in, actually bought the course just because I was interested in to see how he approached it. And it was very similar in the way that, that we approach our training. We give certain conditions uh, that you play in to develop skill. So for example, uh, we might, uh, set up conditions where we're doing chi sao, right? We're doing chi sao sparring, and Carlson can only hit my chest, for example, just to limit the amount of places he can hit, right? So Carlson goes to hit my chest, and, and I need to work on just defending that. And then I then I have a turn. I, I go to attack Carlson's chest, and he defends that. Then we have a go of us both attacking each other's chest. So you're just doing one area, right? And then we have a go at that, right? And then you can then also another example would be uh, we're only going to work on connecting to each other's balance. So for this game, this playful approach, that I'm trying to attack Carlson's balance, he's trying to attack mine. Yeah? So we're just working on balance control. Yeah? That's all we're working on. Yeah? Simple exercise. So that's just another example of gamifying your approach so that you can learn faster. Now, some of the things that get in the way here. So what are the problems when, when, when I say to you, approach things in a playful way? Usually it's when you're training with other people and you're just trying to win. Like you're just trying to beat them, you're not trying to develop skill, right? That's usually one of the biggest blocks. Another one is just your own mindset, you know? Um, you're approaching things too seriously. So with all the exercises I do, if you've got a partner, be playful. If you're training your own, be playful. In life, just be playful, because it will really accelerate your growth. If you want to look into it, look up the research on it. There's, there's, um, there's quite a bit of research out there on, you know, uh, how to learn faster. 
A great book is something called The Science of Rapid Skill Acquisition. There's a lot uh, outlaid in there. Uh, any questions, uh, chuck them in the community and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.